Welcome to Easy 3 Sport Production. I'm your host, Suttles. And before we get started, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that sub button. Make sure you click that like button. YouTube always likes it. And be sure to leave your comments in the comment section. I want to hear what you got to think about this next subject. So without further ado, let's get it. This team is trash. This team is just utterly trash. Offense can't score. Defense can't stop nothing. This team is trash. Offensive line. You just gave up 10 sacks. 10 sacks. 10. Like, what are we doing out here? No deep ball concepts. No nothing. Daniel Jones making terrible decisions. I know you're gun shy. I know because you just got hit 10 times. You just got hit multiple times because you was also running with the ball. But you have to make something happen. You have to make something happen. And I seen that you was making something happen until you threw that pick six. So, I mean, what are we doing here? This is going to be a top five pick team. This is going to truly be a top five pick team. This defense can't do anything, can't get any pressure. The Seattle Seahawks had a backup offensive lineman all throughout the board, and we couldn't get anything on Geno Smith. He's injured, and he can't even move, but yet we still can't even get pressure on him. We had Drew Locke come in, the backup quarterback, and still end up throwing a touchdown. This defense is trash. Can't stop the run. Can't stop the pass. Don't hear Dexter Lawrence's name. Don't hear Leo's name. Oh, I heard Kayvon Thibodeau. Oh, yeah, he got two sacks. Oh, is he impactful? Absolutely not. This team is... Oh, God. Get ready, Giants fans. It's going to be a very long season. This team is not making the playoffs. This team is not even a six-win team. I said they was going to be a six-win team if Andrew Thomas didn't play. Clearly, I was absolutely wrong because this team is probably not even going to get three to four wins. Like, four wins would probably be the max. How are you at home and you get blown? Yeah, and the statistic on you being home is 69-3. to three. You've only scored three points at your home. How can you... What's going on? Like, what's truly going on? The only thing that I can hope for, because we're going to have a top five pick. So you just have to enter real, um, just get real for a second. We're going to have a top five pick. And they structured Daniel Jones' contract specifically for this type of situation. Because then they'll be able to draft a quarterback. And once they're able to draft a quarterback, he'll sit. Daniel Jones will play. And then they can let go of Daniel Jones. It's not all the Daniel Jones' fault, but he's definitely not the solution. He's not the problem. I'm not going to say that. But he's definitely not the solution. This team has way too many problems and way too many holes. This offensive line needs to be addressed immediately. Ten sacks on Monday Night Football, the granddaddy of them all. That is absolutely horrible. Now, I don't know what's going to go on forward, but a top five pick is coming real soon in April. You can sit there and try to fantasize and be like, no, it's not going to happen or anything. I don't see this team doing something like how the Lions did last year and winning like six or seven, eight to try to get into the playoffs. I don't see that happening. Their offense, they can't do anything. You can't hang your hat on anything with this team. If you can name me one thing that you can name uh, that you can hang your hat on, the defense, the offense, the quarterback, uh, the wide receivers, uh, or maybe the D line, something. If you can hang your hat on something, then please let me know. Comment down low, please, because I want to hear it. Special teams is also trash. Like everything is just trash. Stayed up late on a Monday night, gotta go to work, and yet. They have utterly disappointed me by scoring three points. Three points. There is no reason to review this. If you really want to look at it, just look at the highlights because this is... Oh, God. We've given this team too much respect. They don't deserve the, our respect. They don't deserve our money. They don't deserve our time, for real, for real. But... We're loyal. We're going to give them our time. We're going to give them our money. But they don't deserve our respect. They need to earn that. And this was a nightmare game. This was a truly a nightmare game. And this wasn't even the, the best D-line that we're going to see. We got Miami and Buffalo up next. 
a team that put up 70 and then a team that just put up 48. What you think that they're going to do to us? It's going to be a massacre. And until next time, I'm out.